It, it seems like a, like a romantic story. I was really uh, passionate by research. I've always been very interested in life and the mechanisms of life. I think research always followed me throughout medical school. Go Bank and Foundation uh, launched this program. This was fantastic. This is what I was looking for. The ability to pick my own research project. And for the first time, they were accepting medical doctors. It was a game changer for me. It makes you better. It allowed that curiosity to, to come up. We would be exposed to many different areas by top researchers in their fields. It's very important because you get to see different ways of doing things. I'm interested in neurobiology. I'm interested in metabolism. I'm interested in immunology. I, I like infectious diseases and I love evolution. I like to do research for the sake of research, for the sake of generating new knowledge. So the research that I do, so I, I studied malaria. I always imagined if there was some super pill, like super drug, that a dying child can take. So if I didn't get this fellowship, I would not have, have had that opportunity. The whole structure of the program, you know, makes it, makes it work because you get introduced to many more fields to allow you to really go towards the full extent of your curiosity. So I was able to do a PhD. Now I have a postdoctoral position at UCLA. I'm going to be studying uh, something that kind of puts everything I'm, I'm interested in together. I'm just going to keep studying uh, immunology. Immunology always attracted me as a concept. courses at the Gulbenkian, I realized that developmental immunology, which is an area where you study how cells acquire a certain identity, was very interesting to me. That was really the starting point, and now I study how we can use the immune system against cancer. When I started the immunology study, no one believed that immunology could bring a therapy to cancer treatment. Almost three decades later, is that immunology has revolutionized cancer treatment of several cancers. The sky is the limit in terms of applying immunology to treat cancer. The biggest achievement we've had during my career has been the development of a new immunotherapy for cancer. Something we developed in our lab is now being given to patients. That would be the dream of any researcher. I think I would not be here today if I had not had the opportunity to have such a tailored PhD project. This was essential. For me, it was critical. Learning all these methods, learning how to scientifically solve these problems, uh, it was all uh, during this PhD program. I decided that I would uh, like to use everything that I learned regarding science and try and solve problems here in my country. Gold Bank and Foundation launched this program which was involved Cynthia Palop. I applied which was through how I managed to, to earn the fund to implement a laboratory here in, uh, in Kipfer. Right now I'm uh, working in cancer, breast cancer. So I'm trying to detect the more prevalent mutation in breast cancer developed by Cape Verde women. And I decided that I would uh, like to use everything that I learned uh, regarding science and try and solve problems here in my country. By doing research, by understanding more, it, it's a way to then improve things. It was a game changer for me. This was a life-changing experience. I was very interested in understanding how cancer initiated, how we can prevent cancer. And that was exactly what I pursued during my PhD. My plan was to stay as a clinician in Cambridge. When I start looking for funding, 
I ended up doing my PhD in breast cancer genetics uh, in the US, then moved to the UK, ended up working on ovarian cancer. Why the program was arranged in terms of allowing the students to develop their creativity, to be exposed to the best scientists in the world and talk to them. It exposed all the students to different fields without any obligation. This scholarship opened the door to understand how you can suddenly work not only with people in your own group, in your own institutes, and with people from different institutes and different countries. And I was very, very lucky and very grateful for the people that I've met throughout my career. I was really lucky. I finished my medical degree in uh, 89. So at that time, it was really rare to do research. And then uh, Gulbenkian opened this PhD program. And for the first time, they were accepting medical doctors. I'm a medical doctor. I decided to go to science. So I did a PhD and uh, I had a, a group of research. Then I became director of a medical school. And presently, I'm the director of education at Champalimo Foundation. I choose to study embryo development and how genetics control embryo development. I was able to launch a new area of research. I realized that I had more than 100 of research around the work, working on that. The IDC makes it up and makes it up and you have a beautiful place to start. We believe you. We give you the best education and you go and do the best science. Ticked all the boxes in terms of motivating me to do research. It was the most exciting time of my life. This was a very, a very important, I would say, um, grant to, to win. You have your, your colleagues that support you. We developed very good friendships. So this was very, very rewarding. It's a very inviting a very active environment. This scholarship was really unique. Science is really fun, just do it. <laughs>